Today here at Alexander Equipment, we have the brand new Skyjack 3219 and Genie 1932 2021 models. Today we're going to discuss the new ANSI differences between both models here. On these machines now, you're going to have a load sensing system. What that means is you're not going to overload your platform and continue to raise anymore. These machines are both going to stop you and they both have their own way of stopping the machine. This Skyjack at your e-stop, whenever you near max capacity in the platform, it's just going to flash your e-stop at you. Whenever you're at max capacity, it's going to flash your e-stop at you and also sound an alarm. Whenever you're overloaded on max capacity on this machine, whenever you have too much weight in the platform, it's going to flash that e-stop at you, sound a more frequent alarm, and it's going to cut your function out. So you're no longer going to travel. For demonstration purposes, we went ahead and overloaded this platform so you guys can see it in action. So with the e-stop out, we're going to lift this machine. It's going to cut you out right there because it knows you're overloaded. At that point, you're going to go ahead and lower the platform back down. You're going to hit your e-stop. You're going to offload some of the weight out of the platform. Turn your e-stop back on and reach high. You ought to be able to raise as long as you took enough weight out of that platform. Genie's got a similar setup for a load sensing system. With your e-stop out on a Genie, and after you select your lift function, and you go to lift, if you get in this display an OL, that's going to stand for overload. They have a decal on here for any of the trouble codes abbreviated on the display here. So it's going to show you OL and it's not going to let you lift. At that point, you're going to turn your e-stop off. You can go ahead and take some of the weight out of the platform. Turn your e-stop back on. As long as you're under max capacity, you're going to be raising the machine. On this machine here though, if you are near max capacity and you're near max height, it's going to have run a self-test. So let's say about 17 feet, it's a 19 footer. So before you get to full height, on this machine, it's going to run a self-check on you. As long as you're under max capacity, it's going to let you continue to lift. If you're over max capacity, it's going to bring you back down. Also, what we want to go over is on these Genie 1932s, they now have an indoor and outdoor setup. The outdoor setup is only going to allow this machine to go up to 14 feet and come back down. If you select indoor, you're going to get your full 19 foot out of this machine. And the reason they do that is you got to take, if you're outdoors, you got to take into consideration the elements, slopes, elements, wind, things like that. It's actually just a safety device to make you think about the elements while you're outdoors. Now Skyjack does also have that similar setup for the indoor outdoor. But you're not going to get it on a 3219 model, and it's not going to be on a 3220. That is only going to be on a 3226 or bigger. <clears throat> Next thing we want to talk about on these machines is guardrail height. That's the third standard that they change on these machines. Prior year models, you were always able to just make it right through a man door on these machines. Now they change the specs on it, so now they raise the guardrail height. So Skyjack has a rapid fold set up here where you just unpin these top rails as he's doing for us here. He's going to lower that platform control box there. And he's going to sit the rails down. At this point, you're going to go ahead and make it through your doorway. Once you make it through the doorway, you're going to go ahead and set your rails back up. Make sure you get all your pins back in and place the platform control back box right back in its location. Now, Genie also has this similar setup. It's got to have four pins for you to pull here. Two are on the extension deck and two are near the rear gate. <clears throat> Once you have the four pins pulled, one's going to go to the rear there. The other one's going to go forward. <clears throat> Once you make it through your doorway there, go ahead and set your rails back up, pin them, and put the platform control box back in the location it needs to be to operate the controls. Again, here at Alexander Equipment, we just went over the brand new Genie 1932 and Skyjack 3219, which we have in stock and available. If you have any questions, give us a call, leave a comment down below. Thank you.